I'm not very good with beauty things. I don't see the point. When I, when was it? When I first moved up here and things were quite tight and I stopped wanting to buy things that were wants rather than needs, I knew how I needed to pare things down. I discovered that you can leave the house without makeup on. And since then, I've never looked back. Uh, I only wear makeup if I'm going out to something fancy like a family dinner at a restaurant or something like that. I just don't bother. It doesn't bother me. I have no interest in beauty things and stuff like that. I've never really been that girly, although when I was a teenager, I was pretty obsessed with hairspray and growing my nails and all sorts of things that teenage girls do and through various phases in my life mostly thanks to the instability of bad relationships I've gone through several obsessions with weight loss and exercise and stuff like that so I'm quite aware of my limitations and how easily brainwashed by bad situations when you live in a bad situation um, you don't realise how much it affects you until you're out of it. So when I was in relationships where I knew that the person I was with was seeing other people behind my back or was, you know, watching stuff that you can't mention on YouTube, all that sort of stuff. And that happened a lot as well. It would do things to your own confidence and you'd start to manifest in weird ways. So I used to become just really obsessed with with exercise and weight loss and things like that and at the time when I did it I didn't even realize that I looked okay um, I thought that I looked horrific and um, when I look back at the photos from those times now I think my god look how thin I looked I looked really really good I don't mean thin as in thin I mean as in a normal weight but I've always battled with my weight I've always battled with my my use of food as a comfort tool Anyway, that wasn't what I was going to talk about. Um, I was watching another YouTube channel and the girl in it often um, does her makeup in front of the mirror with the phone and she talks as she's doing her makeup. And she's a lot younger than me. <laughs> she's like mid-twenties. So it's not like she needs to worry about these things because she looks great anyway. But um, she was using some eye masks and... I haven't bought these. These were given to me a year ago and I've never opened them because I don't care about this stuff. I don't think it even works. But I thought today, um, I was really up for doing lots of stuff today. But it's actually a lot colder than I thought it was. So my enthusiasm isn't matched by the warmth that gets me going. So I have done a bunch of stuff today. I've I had to catch up on a lot of YouTube editing because my internet was down. So I've spent most of the morning uploading four or five new videos, getting those straightened out. Um, this afternoon I thought I'd give this a go. I don't even know how these work. These go and they stick under the eyes and they're supposed to rejuvenate your eyes apparently. I can't see that working. <laughs> Not on me, I think I'm a lost cause by now. Um, I don't even... I mean, it was only last year when I started using um, moisturiser. Like, proper moisturiser. I've always bought, like, cheap moisturisers from the supermarket, but I've actually started using a proper one. Just that I use in the morning. Just trying to get these things out of the packaging. Stuck. How do you get these out? So I can't even open the packet. I've got no chance to go. Oh, I see. Go underneath. Ha ha ha! So I think these have got lavender in them or something. It's supposed to be rejuvenating and relaxing. Ooh, they're soft, plasticky, and squidgy. Now, which way round do they go? I believe they go like this. Kind of. And you're supposed to stick them on. God, I hope the postman doesn't knock now. This is going to look really bad. Oh, they're like um, you know those kids' squidgy toys that you get. It's like that. 
thought they were going to be harder than that, but they're really soft. Oh, I quite like these. I like the feel of it. It's a weird squidginess. Right, I don't know if I've done that right. It looks like the picture. So, stick on, you little devils. That looks so silly. It's like random wall paint. Are these going to stick on for 15 minutes? I think they will. Okay, 15 minutes then. Right. Am I going to look different when I come out of this? I bet this is one of those things you'd have to use every day for about two years to see the difference. I've also got a clay mask. Mineral clay mask. I've had these things for ages, but they're still well within their expiry dates. That turns out, and I can get like at least a couple out of this. Don't know when I'm going to do that. Anyway, random. <laughs> I look like some weird Marvel character. Seems like a lot of um, unenvironmentally friendly rubbish to me. There's a lot of plastic going in the bin. That's not good. Right, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Right, it's time to take these off. I wonder if you can reuse them. It seems like a waste, doesn't it? <laughs> Gotta find the packaging. Probably not, but I can't help it. I always want to try and reuse things. It just seems like such a waste to use something for 15 minutes and throw it in the bin. There's still quite a lot of oil left because they're quite oily, so I don't think it's even going to dry out. So I'll put them back in the packaging. It's still quite oily. You can see that. save them for another day. I'm not trying them again. I look the same, funnily enough. But yeah, I think it's one of those things you probably have to use a lot. I'm not very good with beauty stuff. Really, I'm not. It's just not me. It used to be, but it's a lot of faff. You spend a lot of time thinking you need to make yourself look good, and people don't care. Nobody cares. Really, they don't. I feel it's such a weird loose end today. I feel like I've wasted the day. I'm just grazing my way through little chores and things that I needed to do. Which was fine because they needed doing. And some of it's stuff I've been putting off for months through winter. And I feel like I'm in this weird limbo point between winter and spring. You know, I've got that kind of like that energy, but not enough, because it's still quite cold. I want to get out and do stuff, like not productive stuff, but just stuff. So I uh, this afternoon, because I know if I don't, I'll be annoyed at myself and taking myself out for a walk. I'm just going to wander around and do a bit of window shopping just to get out. I've got to go out later because I've got to go to um, a cleaning job. 
but that's not the same. And I didn't go out at all yesterday and I felt really bad. So most days of the week I do go out. Four days a week when I have to for work. And the other three are often errands and things like that. So there's only actually two days of the week where theoretically I could just not go out at all. Because four days I'm out cleaning, one day is banking, and then whatever else comes along. But, um, yes, I'm just going out for a wander, stretch my legs, get some steps in, just gets us out and about really. bought the joggers. I own two pairs of joggers already but um, they're really tatty. I use them for the cleaning work. So if I were to nip over to the road, nip over the road sorry to the supermarket or to post something for Vinted, I tend to put those on and I'd rather have a pair that aren't for cleaning. I've looked on Vinted for second-hand ones, but by the time you've paid for them and the postage, they're not actually that cheap. We don't really have any charity shops around here. And that pair in pound land was six quid. So they're ideal, and they'll probably last me ages. They're just nice to throw on if I've got a nip around the corner or out to the shop or something. I might have to shell out for a few more things this year. My trainers are knackered. I've got a hole in them and they're not that comfortable. So I'm going to shop around. I will probably end up going for second hand or vintage or something or eBay. I'll have to keep an eye on that. And I think my walking boots are probably not going to last the year. Uh, they've been glued quite a lot and uh, I did quite a big gluing job on them last year, the end of last year and I don't know how much life they've got left in them. So I'm have to shop around for more second-hand ones of those. Uh, I don't want to spend too much. We shall have to see. I'm just going to shop around. eBay and Vinted are probably the best places. We'll keep an eye on stuff. Tuesday evening again. Wow, weeks are flying by, middle of February, today is the 13th of February and I don't know whether it's got anything to do with it being Valentine's Day tomorrow but the supermarket was heaving at half past five this evening, not usually like that, I don't know what was going on, I didn't see lots of flowers and chocolates flying off the shelves but my god it was busy there tonight, I don't know what was going on. Anyway, so zero vegetables today, absolutely nothing in at all. And in fact generally it wasn't very good, the shelves were mostly empty. Um, the reduced to clear fridge section was almost completely empty and there was no bread at all. So I don't know whether they were changing their days round or whether they were running late and just had to put all these yellow stickers out. I managed to get a few things though, 
Um, I've got to stop buying so much processed food. The problem is that because I only buy yellow stickers, when I see it cheap, I buy it because you may not see something again for weeks. Um, and sometimes with things like fresh bread um, at cheap prices, I might not see any for months. Eggs, I might go four or five months without seeing a box of eggs that are what I would consider cheap enough for my budget. So I am in this habit of just buying stuff when I see it um, and then stashing it up, particularly if it's freezeable, because, like I say, you might not see it again for three or four months. But, I don't know, my diet's not been great lately. Anyway, so, a pucker, chicken and something slice. Chicken and bacon slice, very nice. This was £1.75, it's now 44p. That will go in the freezer for a rainy day. There was also uh, a chicken balti slice. Oh God, I don't know how I got that. That was um, also £1.75 down for 44p. That can go into the freezer. Um, also, I've bought these before. Ella's Kitchen, it's baby food, kind of. It's baby crisps and they're supposed to be better for the children. It's still crisps, so it's still highly processed. They're cheese and pickle crisps. I'm not a massive crisp eater, but if I see them really cheap, I will get them and put them in my emergency snack box because sometimes I just fancy a little pack of crisps. So these are quite nice because they're not really salty and they do kind of chase, taste like cheese and pickle. They were 2 69p, and you get five packs in there. So if you're on a day out and you just want to take a couple of little snacks with you, something like one of those is just great. What else have I got? Smoked bassa. Lots of smoked bassa there today. I picked up two. So they were one pound, that one was one pound 17, down to 47p. This one was one fourteen down to 46p. Um, I think I'm probably going to try and freeze one, keep one out, and I, I will do another Kedgeri style rice dish. I really enjoyed that. Yogurt. Haven't seen any yogurt in ages. This is the Lancashire Farm yogurt. This was £1.25, down to 32p. Haven't seen any yogurt for a bit. like to grab that if it's really cheap. And I bought another loaf. But this was off the baker's counter, so it's a white bloomer. Was one pound five down to twenty seven p, and I've got just enough room in my freezer at the moment where I might be able to put most of this in the freezer instead of eating it because my go to snack at the moment is white bread, um, marge, and crunchy peanut butter. I don't know why I'm an absolute sucker for crunchy peanut butter. It's my go to snack. Anyway, so that is what I bought. The total came to £3.09 and I will put a thing up here to show you what would have been spent if I bought it full price and how much I've actually saved on that shop. Um, haven't bought an enormous amount so far this month. It doesn't look that much on my spreadsheets, but I think the savings are probably going to look quite good. Very short of cash back app deals. I think I've only had one thing this month. Um, it's weird, some months you get nothing at all and in other months you can't, just can't buy enough of it. So um, we'll see what comes up later on this month. Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to sort this all this stuff out for the fridge and the freezer and then I'm going to get changed and chill out for the rest of the evening because it's now uh, getting on for half past seven. So that's Tuesday evening over with another clean tomorrow. Um, I don't have any deals to get, I don't think, at the supermarket. So it's just going to be a clean home.